Hi you all, you two. Hope you're all having a nice day. I'm going to read you another story today. It's called Katie Meets the Impressionists. Impressionists are usually writers, composers or painters. So let's read on. It was Grandma's birthday and for a special treat, she had taken Katie to the art gallery. Katie loved the gallery because you never knew what you were going to see there. Look at the flowers in the painting, said Grandma. I can just see blobs, said Katie. The pictures are made up of blobs, said Grandma. But when you stand well back, the blobs make a lovely picture. Katie wandered off into the next room to try. There she saw a painting called The Luncheon by an artist, Claude Monet. And when she stood back, Katie could see a beautiful garden. Grandma would love flowers like those for her birthday, she thought. She closed her eyes and sniffed. She was sure she could smell the flowers. And when Katie opened her eyes, there she was amongst the daisies, hollyhocks, roses and sunflowers. Can I pick some flowers, said Katie to the little boy who was called Jean. Jean called his mother and nanny over and spoke to them in French. Un bouquet, said his mother. Oui, John. You go and help the girl. So John and Katie gathered flowers together. Are you going to paint them? He asked. No, they are for my grandma, said Katie. Papa paints flowers, said John. I'll show you. John took Katie to a room full of pictures, like a small gallery. This is Papa's studio, he said. He's a famous painter called Claude Monet. I'm good at painting, said Katie. Let's have a go. They mixed the paint on palettes and brushes and found canvases to paint on. They painted portraits of each other using blobs, just like real painters. Now, I'd better go back to Grandma, said Katie. They went into the garden. Will you come another day, said John. Um, I'll try, said Katie. She picked up the bunch of flowers, waving goodbye, climbed through the fray into, back into the art gallery. Katie saw that the bunch of flowers was beginning to wilt. What I need is some water, she said, looking at, around the art gallery. She saw a painting called A Girl with a Watering Can by an artist, Pierre Auguste Renoir. Katie looked around her to make sure no one was watching and climbed inside the painting. Can I have some water for my flowers, said Katie. The little girl put the flowers into her watering can. Voila! She said, but the flowers still drooped and flopped over. Come and pick some more, said the little girl. So Katie and the little girl trampled through the garden picking flowers. Katie pretended it was a jungle and that she was a panther chasing the girl. Suddenly, there was a terrible scream. It was the girl's mother. You have ruined my garden, she shouted. It wasn't me, said the girl. It was her. And she pointed at Katie. Come here, you naughty child, said the mother. But Katie ran to the picture frame and leapt back into the gallery, leaving the flowers scattered behind her. Katie sighed. <sighs> she didn't dare go back to fetch the flowers. She went to look at the other pictures. There were a lot of pictures by Mr Monet. Katie looked at one called A Field with Poppies. Wasn't that Jean, the painter's son? Walking through the field, Katie climbed in to see. It was Jean. He was delighted to see her. We're going on a picnic, he said. And Jean's mother said that Katie could join them too. They walked together through the poppy field, looking for somewhere to sit. Jean helped Katie gather armfuls of poppies for her grandma. Afterwards, they sat in the shade of the tree. They sat in the shade of the tree. The perfect place for a picnic. Mrs. Monet opened a bag. She had bread and cheese and strawberries. But Jean had a buzzing noise, heard a buzzing noise and looked up. A black cloud of bees was flying towards them. <gasps> They're after my poppy, shouted Katie, her mouth full of strawberries. Jean and his mother ran towards the poppy field, but Katie ran to the picture frame and dived into the gallery.